just happened. Elon Musk is testing Neuralink on humans. Have you ever wanted to be Superman or at least a better version of yourself? I am sure you did. As usual, Elon Musk has some ideas on how you can do this. He believes you can achieve this by implanting a chip in your head. This is no joke as Musk tested brain implants with chips in animals and is now testing them on humans using Neuralink technology. Elon Musk says Neuralink hopes to implant its brain chip in humans by 2022. He said the first people to receive chips were people with severe spinal cord injuries. Musk previously gave Neuralink an earlier deadline to implant its chips in humans. What is Neuralink? How will Musk implant a chip in the human brain and what will Musk achieve with Neuralink? Join us as we learn how Musk is finally testing Neuralink on humans. But before we move forward in the video, make sure to subscribe for more content and like this video for receiving similar suggestions from YouTube. Also, we highly appreciate your comments. Now let's get started. Many of us have experienced times when we wanted more brain power, perhaps to complete a difficult multi-purpose school assignment, meet a deadline, or learn a few concepts in a very limited amount of time. What if our brains could be revived or we could add more processing power like we could add RAM to a computer? These are all exciting possibilities that imaginative directors have been teasing for decades. Science fiction suggests that active intelligent people receive updates by opening their heads and adding more power. However, thanks to a brilliant billionaire entrepreneur and inventor, we will soon be able to experience these films as real. That man is none other than Elon Musk, whose intelligence is unquestionable. Musk launched Neuralink to achieve what many thought was impossible. The company aims to develop implantable chips that allow the human brain to interact directly with computers. But what exactly is Neuralink? We'll think about it before we understand how Musk is going to put it into the human brain. So what is Neuralink? A Neuralink is a surgically implanted device in your brain that allows you to communicate with machines and control them. In addition, it will help to study the electrical signals in the brain and find solutions that can help cure various medical problems. The company was founded in 2016 and has been developing this technology ever since. Neuralink mounts a chipset called the N1 chipset in your skull, which is 8 millimeters in diameter and has a lot of wires holding the electrodes and insulation for the wires. These wires are surgically placed in your brain with the help of a robot. According to the company, the wire is as thick as a neuron in your brain and 100 microns thinner than a hair. For comparison, imagine the diameter of your hair and divide that diameter by 10. Neuralink president Max Hodak says you can use more than one device to target different parts of your brain. Now before going into its benefits, let's see how it works. So how does Neuralink work? Have you seen the Hollywood action film The Matrix? Remember the scene where Neo, played by Keanu Reeves, learns martial arts just by plugging a computer program into his brain? Neuralink may not be able to teach you martial arts, but it can send and receive electrical signals through your brain to control the machine. For now, the company says it will be able to control the basic devices like your smartphone and computers and maybe even write with your mind. To understand how Neuralink works, you need to understand that your brain uses neurons to send information to different parts of your body. Neurons in your brain are connected to large networks and communicate using chemical signals called neurotransmitters. This reaction creates an electrical field and you can record this reaction by placing electrodes near it. These electrodes can then understand the electrical signals in your brain and translate them into a machine-readable algorithm. This allows Neuralink to read what you're thinking and find a way to talk to the machine without opening your mouth, so you no longer call OK Google or Alexa. The purpose of the N1 chip is to record and stimulate electrical spikes in your brain. In addition, you can learn various skills using special applications. Whether Bluetooth or other technology will be used to transfer data is currently unclear, but it is certain that the process will be wireless. How to install Neuralink? Speaking of drilling holes in your skull and inserting wires into your brain, there's a lot of reluctance among people. Musk says the procedure is complex and beyond the reach of even experienced human hands. Because of this, Neuralink will use specially designed robots to quickly and accurately insert the device into the cortex. The company said it would work in accordance with the Ministry of Health regulations when carrying out the operation to ensure its safety. The Neuralink robot inserts a module into your brain using a microscope and a 24 micron needle. One micron is one millionth of a meter. These needles are so small that you cannot easily see them with the naked eye. According to the company, 10,000 electrodes can be placed in the brain. The robot aims to ensure that the device is inserted into the brain without touching a blood vessel or artery. Each electrode is placed separately, passing through each type of blood vessel. This operation requires a 2 mm incision that is widened to 8 mm. After the procedure, the exposed parts of the skull are covered with the chipset module. 
The installation process can take up to two hours, according to Musk, and the person may also be under general anesthesia during the process. He also says no wires or antennas will ever come out of your head once the device is plugged in. Okay, so after installation, how can it be used? What are its benefits? The company said the initial phase of the project will focus on supporting the healthcare industry. The machine will be able to help paralyze people with simple tasks such as working on a phone or interacting with a computer. It can also be used to treat epilepsy. In an interview, Elon Musk said the device could also help restore a person's vision even if they lose their optic nerve. He said that this technology would basically be able to fix all the errors in the brain. Musk added that Neuralink could also be used to restore memory, speech, and movement of people with disabilities. Unleashing the full symbiosis of technology and the human brain, it will also be able to help people interact with each other without actually having to speak, Musk said. He didn't say whether we should learn a specific language for this, but said it was possible. Imagine being able to read someone's mind. The company's latest revelation is about how consumers can stream music straight to their brains. This involves attaching hardware known as Link to the back of the ear that communicates directly with Neuralink to stream music. You enter the realm of AI, the possibilities are endless. Imagine not needing a physical communication device like a phone or smartphone to connect with people. The idea of telepathy is not exaggerated by such technology. The speed of communication will also increase several times because we will not waste time writing sentences. However, the process of capturing thoughts and turning them into sentences will take time. The company will investigate additional consumer cases where the technology is implemented, but for now the focus is on ensuring the technology interacts seamlessly with devices. Some of the concern. If the Netflix series Black Mirror has taught us anything over the last few years, you shouldn't mess with AI. Neuralink may be the bridge that connects humans to the next level of artificial intelligence, but many people may hesitate to have a computer chipset in their brain. This technology has not been tested on humans. The first living species to experience symbiosis were mice and monkeys. Surprisingly, during the test, the monkey managed to control the computer with this brain, but the monkey brain never wrote the symphony. Did he do it? There is also the fear that if the device is connected to the internet, how will we be protected from hackers who might try to steal data directly from our brains? And what prevents someone from spying on my mind through the device? How long will the device stay in your head? Neuralink has looked at the timeline for at least 10 years. Do you have the option to delete it later? Musk said yes. We will have more clarity on Neuralink and issues like this as we get closer to the launch of the first commercial product. Until then, I'm glad something like this is going on. What do you think about it? Are you excited? Let us know about your thoughts in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe for more similar content.